We end tonight on a crescendo to an intriguing mystery about a composer widely regarded as the greatest who ever lived. Here's Paul Workman. It's well known that Beethoven struggled with his health, who made beautiful music even as he was going deaf. Yet the cause of his suffering has long puzzled both the scientific and music worlds, evolving into something of a great Beethoven myth. In our imagination, says archivist Julia Rong, we believe he could only have created such wonderful music because he was ill. Precious locks of Beethoven's hair have now solved at least half the mystery, yielding up the great composer's genome sequence. Nicholas Rozhevsky is both a musician and scientist. It's not so simple to get a sequence from pieces of hair that have been spread around the world, he says. It is almost certainly Beethoven. It turns out Beethoven was genetically predisposed to liver disease. That, combined with hepatitis B and steady drinking, killed him at the age of 56. In the spring of 1825, he describes spitting a great deal of blood from his windpipe. This is likely indicative of cirrhosis, so the, the further progression of his liver disease. The big disappointment is what they didn't find, a genetic link to his deafness, probably caused by a middle ear condition. We know what triggered the liver disease, says the study's co-author, but not what caused the hearing loss. Yet there was a surprise in all of this genetic stalking. Beethoven's DNA and that of his living relatives didn't match, suggesting an extramarital wing of the family that has suddenly come to light. Paul Workman, CTV News, London.